Hey guys, it's the Four Eyed Panda. Today I am making a tutorial for those butterfly um, butterfly <laughs> nails that I had before. There should be a picture that you should be seeing right now. I'm going to be doing a tutorial for those as requested. Um, and here we go. Let me just explain something really quick. This is my setup. I have flat area, towel, shot glass full of acetone. Trust me, it works. A couple of um, makeup sponges for sponging. I have a piece of cardboard that I kind of use as a palette all the time, just randomly. Um, I use thinner for later on with the black. You'll see that it kind of helps a little bit. I'm going to put this over here really quick. And then my colors. You can use any colors as long as they're, they're within the same type of color, but like lightest to dark or just pretty much any color you want. I have a dark color right here, which is OPI's OPI ink. Then it's going to fade into this color, which is What Abroad, which is Sephora by OPI. And it's going to fade into this color, which is Do You Lilac It by OPI. And then finally, Alpine Snow, which we'll use for the last color, plus some dotting. And then this color right here, which is my favorite, Black Onyx. And I'll be covering it with the gradient with New Bars. This is Angelic Glitter to kind of smooth it together and then of course top coating it with Fesh Feet, favorite top coat ever. And then right now I just have on Orly's Nail Defense and I usually have on OPI's Strengthener which is kind of a pinkish milky pink base but I've been liking this a little bit lately for some reason. Now obviously I don't have any polish on. Boom. Nothing. So I just have this on my thumb because I'll be using this finger just for the, the tutorial. So let me just throw this off to the side. Okay. Now to get started, basically what you do is take the lightest color, which is the white for this one, and the second lightest color. I'm going to be using those two for the very first one. Take out your palette, and obviously you can already see I kind of have a white area right here and a purple area right there from working with it so many times. I like to take my white first, and once your base color is completely dry, take your things right here. Dab on a little bit to your area, and hopefully you can see that. Let's see, yeah, you can see that. Um, okay, so take your sponge, put a little bit just on this area right here. And what we're gonna do, if you can see this, is we're gonna go from here to about here, just kind of the tip of this. If your nails are short, so say if they're about that short, you just go from like here to maybe a little bit what would be the tip of your nail. So I'll just dab this on and obviously at first it won't be too opaque so that's why you keep going with it but go as much as you want. I like to do since my nail is a lot longer than most people's nails. I'll just keep going up to just the whites of my nails just to kind of cover it up. And then second thing, it doesn't really have to dry. This takes just a few seconds to dry. It's not too bad. Take the second color, and this one again was Do You Lie Like It? Put it on the area. You can use a plate for this, which would be a lot easier, but I like to make things difficult for myself. These colors get kind of mixed up. Take another one, so keep your white off to the side. Keep this one, and just put it off right here, see? And dab a little bit. Try to dab, make sure you dab it first. Now I'm going to go from about here to all the way up until the white, okay? It's not going to really, the bottom part is not going to really matter too much. I need some more on here. The bottom part is not going to matter too much because you're going to cover that part up with the black. So you want to just make sure you have a smooth transition. And to do that, again, dab a little bit on, a little bit off, keep dabbing. It'll be really, really, really light. Dab all the way up to the white so that you start fading it into each other. Try to get the corners. That's the hardest part. You kind of have puffy fingers. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt. But it doesn't matter. You're going to clean it up anyway. So I hope you clean it up. That'd be, that'd be great. So yeah, fade all the way up into the white. And obviously that is not, I don't know if you can see that, it's not too much right now. It looks kind of lame, just kind of purple and white, but that's going to get fixed in a second. 
We'll go a second time with the white. And this does take, it's not an instant gratification type of thing. You need to just go with it. Uh, again, with the white. Take this, make sure it's all over. Dab a little off. And back on here. And make sure you start fading this one on here. It's like it's actually going to start to create a fade. And if it's not perfect, you know what? Go with it. So it's starting to create a little bit of a fade. This is bothering me a little bit that there's this kind of a line right here. So I'm gonna, that's why I'm fading it so much right here. Ta-da! Getting a little bit more faded. And you don't want too much of the white part. You want more of the purple, right? So that's why we're going back one more time with Do You Lie Like It? Let's put a little bit more on there just in case. I'm gonna get some more right here. Boom. And some more. By now this purple should have dried anyway, so kinda fade that onto there. And you, you know what? If you want, go past the white. You want more of this purple. The purple is the best part of this whole thing. So fade it on and starting to fade. Sorry, I keep forgetting where the camera is. I'm like up here. Um, you're starting to fade right there. Let's see if you can see. Boom. Fading. Awesome. Okay. So obviously let that dry for a little bit. Just, just for like a few seconds. And while you're doing that, you're going to get your second color prepped. So you can kind of use the other side to these. They're really not going to matter too much. And this one is really low because it's one of my favorite colors. So it's going to be a pain in the butt to get out. And you can just dab that on the area that has your purples. There we go. It's not bad. And this one is What a Broad by Sephora for OPI. Um, this one is a little bit more of a pink base, so I would go with, I don't know, something a few steps up from the lilac it. It's not going to be too much of a problem, but take the same one you had before, other side, not the same side, just because it's starting to get kind of gross now. And on the tip, there you go. Dab it a little off, and we're going to go from here to about here. You see, this one's actually pretty dark, so you might want to go like that, work quickly, because if you create lines, you don't want that. And you see it's starting to get a little darker here? You don't need the sides too much for this one, but you would definitely want the base to here. And I really like that, to where it's starting to get from dark to light. I really like that. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with it. I won't go a second coat of that. Um... For some people, you might want to go a second coat, just like I was doing before, but you won't have to deal with a lighter color right now, so I'm just going to leave that off to the side. So I'm done with Do You Light Like It? I'm done with Little Broad. And now, finally, I'm going to be using my darkest color, which is OPI Ink. And this one actually has a little bit of a shimmer to it. I know on the camera it looks like um, Onyx, but it's ink. And it's purple with a little bit of shimmer, so you'll see that in the photos. Same thing onto my purple palette right here. Make kind of a line of it, and you're not going to need very much because it is so dark. Go ahead and do this on the other side that had the white. So you want to just separate your colors a little bit. Now you can see that's pretty dark. Make a little come off right there, and then from the base up, and just fade it up to the tip of your nail. And it's not going to be too much of a difference because you're just seeing from dark to light again. So. It's not too bad. You get a little bit of that tip right there. So, there you go. So we have, oops, a little bit of a gradient going on here. Let's see if you can see that. Kind of blurry. Camera's kind of ghetto. Ta-da! And just because it bothers me so much, I don't like having the purple all around my fingers. So just swipe it with a little bit of acetone. Let's see if you can see that. Just swipe it off all that on my skin bothers me and I use a little towel that I always have for my cleaning up so I just swipe that off and it's nice and clean now because I'm kind of weird like that and I can't be having a bunch of messes it just looks neater for me now if you're doing this like every finger it's gonna get messy I would just leave it so I just do that and finally Bef you don't have to do this step. I like this step because you take a very light glitter, very fine, very light, colorless glitter. If you like purple, you can do that. 
This one doesn't have any color to it, and it's New Bar's Angelic Glitter. To blend it all together, because right now, they're, it's a little bit toppy, kind of. Mine isn't too bad. It's actually one of the better ones. I take this, and I just use it almost like a top coat. And so, it's really nice. You'll see it in the pictures. Um, in the previous pictures, you were able to see it really well. So I go just from top to tip, the whole nail. Oh, now make sure you get those tips pressured along the tip of your nail. And then if you got some around your finger, I use a double-sided brush that has the brush here and a dotting tip right here. I can kind of scrape away my sides right there. That's kind of my trick. And then while this is still wet, I get my acetone because the glitters are a pain in the butt. And I take off whatever's on my skin just because, again, I don't like and polish on my skin and I clean up as I go all the time so that is the gradient part now if you're looking just for a gradient tutorial this is pretty much it you can let this dry you can put a top coat you can stamp this whatever you feel like but right now I'm gonna take a little bit of rake while this dries completely and then we'll come back and we will put the black line so 